Join me to venture me on adventures back to the age of the dinosaurs, experiencing what their experiences were over 65 million years in the making. From big and small, terrifying and non-terrifying, I bring you Planet Dinosaur. We are 68 million years ago in the late Cretaceous period. In the, in the middle of a massive feeding ground. Dinosaurs in all shapes and sizes come here every year for a few weeks. But when the dry season kicks in, they will head back south. This is a group of Taurosaurus. A close cousin to the more famous Triceratops. But are much more aggressive. Yet smaller. And the biggest animals here of all is the Triceratops themselves. Both a male and his two females. The male is the largest in the herd and also the strongest. They'll keep watch. If any intruders dare attack, he will be the one fighting. If the attacker is in his range of sight. The bull is very protective of his family. Yet, there's only four or three of them left. Parasaurolophus is yet another common sight around these parts. Hadrosaurs like Parasaurolophus would migrate with the more armored herbivores to, s to stay safe, for it can't fend for itself. Its only defensive measure is its speed to get away from predators. And the crankiest dinosaur around these parts is also kind of a loner. It's the Ankylosaurus. They do not prefer much dinosaur population around it, especially carnivores. It will have to do, since this is its home full year round. It never migrates. It never moves. This species of dinosaur is known as a Tyrannosaurus killer, weighing, weighing nine tons entirely, and just its club alone weighs one ton of pure bone. Ankylosaurus' name means tank lizard, since it was the tank of the dinosaurs, the most well armored dinosaur, since Ankylosaurus first appeared on the planet. This female, this female Triceratops is heading into the woods. Though it may be the last decision she ever makes. Monsters exist. Tyrannosaurus Rex. One of the biggest meat eating dinosaurs to have ever roamed the earth. This 
Brontosaurus rex specimen is a female. She is 40 feet long and still growing. But she is not Tyrannosaurus who though. But these dinosaurs got big by eating other dinosaurs. She's taking a little drink from a small pond nearby. Now fulfilling herself. She'll make one last call. She already made a kill earlier today, so she's not hungry anymore. She is satisfied. Amongst the Taurosaurs, we can find our bull Triceratops. We could easily identify him by his size. He is much bigger than any Taurosaur. Plus, there's three meter long horns. How could anybody forget about those? Given the chance, it could kill Tyrannosaurus Rex in one hit. Dusk? Dusk has now fallen upon the Cretaceous period, North America, which makes it the perfect hunting opportunity for a kill. <laughs> Out of the brush, the T-Rex emerges. The herbivores have just now noticed. They start clamoring together, trying to get away from the ancient beast. Even the Ankylos Horus is on the run. trying to divide the herd and pick on the easiest. It seems she has found her target, the Triceratops. One of the females unwittingly jumps into the woods, not knowing what's about to come. T-Rex can smell her. It's time for the hunt to begin. The female doesn't even notice the T-Rex sneaking up ahead until she turns her head. There is nothing she can do now but fight. She accepts the challenge. The two circle, trying to find a weak point in each other.
all the herd could do was watch. The male was was not able to see the fight, but now he knows that his daughter is dead. He will get his revenge upon the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Ever since his daughter was lost that day, the male hasn't been around the herd as much. He's been more distant. He's been eating a lot more now. Triceratops also weighed around nine tons like the armored Ankylosaurus and grazed around more than half of a day. But now he decides it's time to head back to his herd. His mate has also noticed the change of their daughter's death. There are now three of them instead of four. She is saddened by it too, but is taking it much better than the male is. which is unusual for these were very social creatures. They needed to be in large herds if they wanted to feel comfortable. So a loss of a loved one shouldn't be doing this to the female. Much of the other dinosaurs do not seem to mind the death, for they know that they are still alive. That's all they care about. Survival. It had been almost two weeks since the Rex was seen feeding from the carcass. It's almost time for the herds to move on. The female is discussing with the male. As the other daughter is discussing with her father as well. It's almost time for them to leave. But before doing so, they need to scout around to see if, if the dastardly Tyrannosaurus Rex is still around. Tyrannosaurus is up last night. And it's time for the next hunt to begin. Tyrannosaurus Rex is back. The herbivores quickly get sight and start heading to the tree line. The Tyrannosaurus Rex is back. He's picking on a small Torosaurus. This time the Tyrannosaurus Rex is messing with the wrong dinosaur. Oh, the bull is taking revenge. He is ready for a fight. The fight between royalty is about to begin. Okay. Triceratops gets the second blow. And, and the third. It's time to end this. That is the end of the female Tyrannosaurus Rex.
defeated by the male. Her lifeless corpse now lays. He is now home safely with the rest of his herd, now being the king of the Cretaceous. Next time, we will see you in the early Cretaceous period. See you next time in Planet Dinosaur.